Welcome to the next video, and this will be the same video I'm doing here. Just because there's been so many model shifts about this prospect of recently upgraded tropical depression 3C on the effect of the Hawaiian Islands, it probably, my last video probably wasn't very good anyway. I'll do a better job explaining this time around, I promise. So, so let's, first of all, let's get to our newly designated tropical depression 4C. It just got upped. So it's near the international date line, so it's barely in the base, and it just got up by the CPH about now. Uh, a couple hours ago, the 3Z advisory, they upgraded the system. That's no surprise. I mean, after they gave this, after Sab gave the full act numbers of T2.0 at 30 knots. And this system is probably around 15 177. So that's kind of moving slightly west. You no, know, east, northeast, a little bit. It's kind of forecast to turn into motion and eventually, as a ridge builds, ev ev eventually kind of turn back and eventually re enter the West Pacific before again, when a trough comes up and, st and steals this. Oh, whoops. When a trough comes up and we would steal this, eventually we turn, re possibly re enter the, 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 the Central Pacific again. But anyway, let's focus on back to. This, this, however, this isn't likely it won't be a tropical storm, even though the shear is quite low, and it's not a threat to land. The main focus right now is tropical depression 3C. And you can see it's struggling a little bit this evening with some very strong wind shear, probably somewhere between 20, 30, maybe 35 knots of wind shear. That's creating not a very good and favorable environment. It's causing the Scapex to repulsate, and now all of a sudden become very sheared, as an LSC seems to become very far removed. Like, and it's probably somewhere between 140 and 145. 9 West, and this could actually be big, this is actually an important one, I, this great one I, I, when I, to make my point later on in this video, the CPHC I believe has this uh, somewhere around here, which makes no sense for the following reasons. First of all, the center is exposed, so I think it would be easy to see. Second of all, um, first of all, the center is exposed. Second of all, um, when Saturday that we have, Kind of confirms the centers in that general area. We have an A scan pass, so I'll give a better story. And third, and third, this the CPH that's what the SAB fix has, and this is actually making a big difference. Because this, inc this, oh yeah, no, 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 no reasons that um, this the wind shear from the east, so the circulation will be displaced to the east due to the direction of the wind shear will displace circulation to the east. And not to the west, because that, 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 that would break all the laws of meteorology. But since the anticyclonic fall, the reason for the winter is really due to the displacement of anticyclonic fall, not anything else. So this shouldn't, shouldn't be a huge deal. And one system was able to find that like sweet spot, which I think it's forecasted to. One system passes around 155 W, the wind shear becomes a little bit, a little bit more favorable. You can even see some improved alpha from this end. That is why I think the system will have a chance to intensify. But for now, without likely paying the center fix, won't be another 24 hours. It won't be for another 24 hours. You can see here's the last visible, and then here. Here's a look at the latest GFS one. You can see it's relatively similar to the agency one, which kind of shifted away from that doomsday 12Z situation that brought right near Oahu as a catch boy 2 or 3. Hurricane. This one's been a little bit stronger, kind of. And actually, later brings some to catch boy 4 intensity pretty much. Yeah, later on, as it passes to the north of the Hawaiian Islands, the run, run's still rolling out. It's definitely something to keep a very close eye on in the upcoming days. Let's also take a look at the stain differences between the 12Z GFS and the 0Z GFS. And to me, also partially explain some of the westerly shifts, because the 0Z GFS... So the 0Z GFS knows how here there's less of a trough. And the 12Z GFS, that's one reason why the GFS is shifted west. The other reason why I think it's the mountain is the same as it affects. I can know it too early and I'll allude to it in a sec. Right, so here is the 6 hour 12Z position. This was before the CPHC initial aid advisories on it. So I think this actually was an investor. Actually, no, this 12Z, yeah, this 12Z run was before the CPHC initial aid advisories on it. And this was the six hour forecast. So this is supposed to verify 18Z. But notice here, 
how I know it's kind of hard to see, but the actual ATZ initialization, this wasn't, ATZ wasn't initialized properly, because they've, I've estimated initialized this at about 150W, when in reality this was forecast to be about 148W. So it's different to two, two less degrees, but that's going to make a huge difference later on, because of the angling, because it seems like it's a field of weakness, it's really more of a where is a field of weakness, where and when is a field of weakness. Because if, so if this is two degrees off, because if this HNZ GFS line is two degrees off, then all the other ones are gonna be two. Then the whole might as well just shift the whole track two degrees east. Or two, yeah, two degrees east, and all of a sudden instead of having a system passing between Kauai and Nahoon and French Street at Souls, instead of passing through that area between the Windward and Leeward Hawaiian Islands, now you have a storm that's blasting to the Windward Hawaiian Islands. So it's something that we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on. It's gonna be very important to see where the center fix really ends up. And here's a look at the, the zero Z GFS that I just showed you. I, that was one of the first that was the one that brings it to 9.9 millibars that I showed you earlier in this video. See what that initial is? Initial is. That's a little bit better, but that's still not. This is still not where it probably should have been initialized. This one looks initialized about a degree off, I'd say. I mean, it's really hard to tell. I mean, the orbs around you obviously not going to have perfect initialization since. But I will say. It's going to be inter really interesting. In the addition, I think. It's going to be really interesting to see. Because I. Even though this LLC is naked, I don't think it's moving us. Moving much, and one of the issues I think I have with this with this GFS one is they move the system way too fast while the European GFS practice while the European one practically stalls it. And even this pretty close to one, you have the system new one sixty W in a couple days, and the system new one sixty W in a couple days. When I don't think systems probably around one fifty five W and starting to move into a lighter shoe environment and start starting around that time. So right now, systems in intensity wise, systems in a very high shear environment, and the ship model starts to drop off the shear somewhat. At around 155W, it's gonna be hard to tell because of all, all the initialization differences, but I'd say it has a pretty good bet right now. As a result, I think the system at some point or another will likely start to strengthen as it and eventually recurves to the east northeast, as as indicated by both of the greatest GFS and European runs. Any, any, the European zero Z GFS, or the European zero Z run is not out. It's not out, so I'm not, obviously cannot show you. But here's kind of the, here's what I can see happening. If the LC forms what I think it is, then I think the system is in a Wahoo or Kauai threat. Even though I still, even if what I think it's forming is, I still think the system will barely miss Hawaii. However, if the CPC is correct, I think the system can eat, will probably become nowhere near the Hawaiian Islands. Will probably just because the fact that, well, first of all, the Europeans been a little bit further west than the GFS, and second of all, the second reason is that in general these models have an eastward bias in this part of the world. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. Points we have a very tense next few days, and interest, interest in Hawaii, especially in Oahu, and Kiawi, whatever the island is called, need to monitor Kiawi. K A U A I, whatever that island is called, needs to monitor the storm really closely. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy this. Bye!